is now primed with a percussion cap on the nipple. The hammer is back and the gunner has his arm raised to demonstrate the mortar is ready to fire. Prepare to fire, hand is up and fire. Failure. And about one in 10 failed to fire. This was common of this period. Percussion caps, nipples, or cones as the Americans called them, being a somewhat more sedate nation. Prepare to fire. Five. And that's the mortar. And somewhere in the next three seconds, the shell would land well out into the enemy territory. We'll now move on to the loading and firing procedure for the Dahlgren Naval Boat Howitzer on field carriage. Here we go, Stuart. Now you'll see standing over in the corner here, our powder monkey. These were young men in the Navy who carried the ammunition from below decks to the guns on board a ship, or if it was a landing party, he'd be carrying it from the ammunition case to the gun. The panel load. Now inside this leather pouch is the ammunition for the gun. He places the ammunition in the muzzle and the loader then rams it. Now you'll notice the gunner has his thumb over the vent just to show that no air gets trapped between the ammunition and the breech of the gun. He now spikes the cartridge. This is to make a hole in the cartridge so the primer that he's putting in that the hammer strikes is actually inserted into the cartridge ready to fire it. Now we're doing this slowly so you can follow the procedure. Normally a gun crew would fire two to three rounds a minute. He's inserted the primer. Guns ready. Prepare to fire. Fire. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who wish to see a bit more of your Australian and its American Civil War history, we have a display down in the Founders Building showing you the part that Australia played in America's Civil War. <laughs>